hi friend welcome back to laravel tutorial so in this video we will going to learn about how to generate qr code how to change the background how to resize or how to store into our storage folder so let's start so we have already installed my laravel application and we have running this so basically this is the fresh laravel application we have just installed in our system so we have a package to generate the qr code so you can check so just go to my site so this is my site you can check from the recent blog section that is the qr code generation in laravel or you can go directly to the blog section so click on details so here we'll get full step to generate a qr code okay so already first step is done we have already created this project and now install the qr code generation package via composer so just copy this and just stop the server and paste it here composer require simple software you know simple qr code okay so it will install into your application so it started installation so it will take very less time so basically generating optimized files okay so basically this is and all the package are installed okay so second step is done now we need to go to the third step so we need to go to config and app.php so here we will get all the option to include the qr code packages so inside the providers just add this simple that is the qr code links and this is the class and the next we need to set the aliases so using this qr code alias we will get the access of the qr code so just add this into the aliases part okay so just add a comma here and next in the aliases section just add this right so we have done the step 3 now let's create a controller so we will create a controller suppose my controller name is qr code generated controller okay so just go here and php artisan make controller and paste my controller name that is qr code generated controller so controller created successfully now go to the controller and inside the controller we will create a function that is qr code generated controller okay so let's create a function public function index okay and we will load view that is a return view and my view name is qr code okay so let's create the view file inside the resource views and here write qr code dot blade dot php okay so use the html boiler template and write here qr code generator okay so before that we need to call this index function from the routes so just go to the route so just here and use the web.php and first add this qr code generate controller into here so right here use qr code generate controller and we to provide the namespace path also so just copy this and write here okay and we will call this index function using this link so we'll create a link so route get and share my link is qr code and name the controller colon colon class and finally name the method okay so now if we just go to the qr code we'll get this view file so for now we'll write something that is h4 write qr code generate okay now just go to the terminal and run the server php artisan serve okay so so just go to the browser 
and okay, go to this code so qr code generate okay now we have to generate the qr code so how we can generate so our step 4 and step 5 is complete and here inside the views we have to write these things so just go to the blade file to generate the qr code so first i will use only generate so i will generate the code for learning points dot in so now it is the simple code to generate any cure so just go to the browser and refresh this so we are getting very nice QR code and if you just pause this video and check from your mobile scanner or if you just want to see what is written over there inside the QR code you can just open your camera and it will detect the text that is learning points dot in so this is the simple QR code generation example now I want to make some configuration on these suppose I want to change the background color or want to change uh, the size or I want to store this QR code into my storage directory also so how can we do this so first let's use the size so I want to say it the size will be suppose 100 okay now just go to here and refresh this so it will change the size so I am changing some more so right here 200 okay so refresh this we can get the larger QR code right now I want to change the background color so we have a function for background color so right here background and we can set the color code so right here background color and suppose I want to write 150 100 0 okay you can add your own color I am providing this color I want to check whether the color is changing or not okay so now refresh this so its color changes so in this way we can change the color also now the next things if I want to save this QR code into our storage okay so how we can do this suppose I want to store this QR code inside my project application there is a storage folder and I want a separate folder to store this QR code so just write QR code so in this folder all the QR code will store okay so how we can do this so simply just copy this so basically this is for displaying and now to store we need to write these things so we will save in size 200 and we will save also the background color and the changes is when to store so right here storage path okay so we know that is the storage path inside laravel and here the folder name is that is qr code okay so right here qr code and suppose the file name will be the code dot png i want to get inside the png also and i need to set the format into the png also so that we will get the file into the png format okay so right here png right now just go to the browser and refresh this so we are getting this qr code for this and we will get this code.png inside the storage qr code folder now i want to change the name that is code2.png so just refresh here and we will get the another that is code2.png okay suppose if i want to dynamic the name with the time so we can use the name as a dynamic so here we can write simple time function also okay so write time and write here code underscore time okay so we need to write inside the image comma okay now just refresh this so it will generate with the unique number okay 
so it will not replace the previous one so it will generate unique so in this way we can generate the qr code also and we can save in our directory also so that if you want to send this from mail you can send this from here or you can display from anywhere in your application okay so i think you will like this video and it will help to you so please comment if you have any queries about this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye